Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to talk about Norton's theorem. Norton's theorem claims that we can take a linear circuit and convert it to a circuit that contains a single current source and a single resistor in parallel to the current source. We can then connect some load resistor onto that. Remember, the load resistor is simply an example of what you would connect to that circuit. And then what we can do with that circuit, we can then calculate what the current is through the load resistor. If we want to calculate that, we can say that the current through the load resistor is equal to the current provided by the linear circuit. So that would be Norton's current as we call it. I sub n stands for Norton's current, which represents the singular current source representative of this circuit times the ratio of the resistance of the other branch, which would be the Norton's resistance divided by Norton's resistance plus the load resistor. So that would be the current going to the load resistor. The question then becomes, in order for us to be able to do this, for us to be able to convert the linear circuit into the Norton circuit and then use that to determine the current through the load resistor, we must find R sub n, we must find out what this resistor is equal to, and we must find I sub n, the current of the source represented of the linear circuit. So the whole exercise then is how do you find the Norton's resistance and how do you find the Norton's current as we would call that. So that's what we're trying to do with the Norton circuit. We simply take the linear circuit, convert it to something that looks like this, a singular current source, a resistor in parallel, and then the exercise becomes how do you find the Norton's resistance and how to find the current in order to determine the current through the load resistor of the circuit. And that's how we do that. Now in the next video, we'll show you how to find R sub n and I sub n.